in this video we will be talking about omega now what's an omega now when you first read the documentation of heat you will see omega being referred and written as a capital o like here this is omega when you initialize it it will be automatically loaded and this o will be associated with capital o will be associated with omega so technically speaking omega is a class which contains method to define state shape material physical interaction extra we can think of omega as like a scene or an environment here we are gonna add particles and add physics to a particles so in a broader sense omega contains two types of components one is a data type of component that defines shape size material boundary to a particle and is written in the code as o dot bodies and the second component is physics that defines interaction collision gravity to the scene or environment so let's see how it's coded in the aid how it's defined how it's written let's see the properties of o let's open a terminal let's open here by writing gear and pressing enter it's done so if we if you want to know about omega what is omega you just write capital o and write question mark it's like a help if you want to help about any function you just write that function name and write question mark after that it will give you help of that and it's like type is omega it's string from all wrapper type object and its file is located here path so it gives you what is omega where it's located okay okay so if you would have followed my particle motion series you would have easily get the attributes of omega and already have some idea what i'm about to tell so as you would have noticed in particle motion i've used uh, delta t constant change in time for different iterations as a time step between successive iterations and iteration was like a count iteration is like a count that I defined particle motion series it defines the change of state through different time state so let's see how can we refer to these things so first of all uh, this time state delta t is already initialized in omega and you can change it just write capital o dot dt it will give you it's like 10 to the power of minus 10 to the power of minus 8 okay it's very small you can change it you can write o dot dt is equal to one second now o dot dt now it's one second so there's no hard and fast rule how to write anything you can redefine what has been initialized earlier okay after this we are gonna talk about like when we just gonna add sphere particle and interaction to it you are gonna add it to the omega the environment and you are going to run using o okay one was first of all dt time step now if you want to see the iteration how many iterations are occurred we haven't even started this thing so it would be zero we haven't even started so it first count is zero and first time zero dot o dot time it would be also zero okay now if you need to step one step yeah one iteration you want to do so you would write like o dot step okay or oh, it refers you can write like o dot uh, iter sorry capital o dot here yeah. it's zero why because when i had to write the step it's a function i have to write it o dot step in brackets then it will take this step okay i already okay now o dot iteration how many iterations has occurred it will be one you can see if you want to see that scene this time you just refer to the graphical level click f12 and see show 3d this is like your scene there's nothing in here yet in the next view we will add sphere to it boundaries to it physics to it so for this you just uh, remember this is always omega just an environment nothing else you can do run and it run a scene by writing o dot run it will start running it and would stop 
so you will give some step after how many iteration it should stop so how would you write that thing you just have to write o dot first of o dot run it will run for infinity so if we go for o dot time what is the time power but what time has passed like nine zero it is my second next time again o dot time it will be increasing it's not stopping so in order to stop it you just write o dot pause and it will pause oh no i just forgot that it is a function you have to refer it as in brackets now if you see o dot time again next time again o dot time it won't be now it will be stopped it will be same now you can refer to o dot iteration number of iteration that has passed or o dot time one and the same thing iteration this is iteration here now if you have to reset i think for reset it's o dot reset maybe this is a function i should refer to as function like this now o dot iter it will be zero now everything has been resetted again so there is run there's iteration in order to run you all can also run iteration by graphically i think this i haven't even run it yet wait o dot run so you can't just run it now it's running no i don't think it's graphical you can't just pause it okay iteration is passing 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 this is delta t virtual real something showing there will be nothing in 3d this is empty scene now you have to stop it o dot pause is paused time is real it's real time it's not actually the time of the environment it's the real time so you can also refer to as like after how many iterations you stop like i would refer to as like after five iterations you start let's see i can do the zero dot o dot reset this function brackets is reset o dot dot iter zero so i would say like o capital o dot run let's write 10 let's see what will happen o dot error yep it stopped after 10 this is the one way like if i actually again at o dot run wait a second then now again o dot error it is in wrong wrong i don't have to write these brackets Oh, wait a second okay 20 it's passing like 20 10 10 10 10 10 okay let's press now control l to clear the screen shortcut okay now i think you can just see how to save and scenes reload it this will be on document it's easy thing it's you can just copy paste it from the documents documentations now i think this is it for this video in the next video we'll be talking about o dot bodies that is actually the shape component of the omega not shape component data component of the omega and it is in it there is shape size material extra in next lecture we'll talk about this component in the subsequent item we'll, we'll be talking about the uh, mm, data component first second will be like property component and yeah property company is referred to as you know, o dot engine i think yeah o dot engine o dot engine is not found if not o dot engine what it is engines o dot engines it's actually yes yep it's o dot engines so omega has two component one is data component that is o dot bodies and that another is engine component physics component and that's o dot engines so in order to add a physics to it you will just add in o dot engines if you need to add shape size particles to it you just gonna refer o dot bodies and i think this is it thank you for watching